Did you know Donald Trump was in Manhattan uh, this evening? So the Boston Globe did a lampoon yesterday on what it might look like to cover you as president. It was pretty nasty. Are you used to this stuff yet? Are you getting numb to this? Well, I've become none. No, if you know, if you're a conservative, a Republican, the press is just brutal. I mean, it is brutal. And here's a paper that, by the way, sold for a dollar. It's worthless. It's a worthless paper. And they did, I don't know if it was an April Fool or, or what, but they did this edition where everything's about Trump. And, you know, I mean, what kind of stuff is that? Hey, look, we need borders. Everything they said there is practically the opposite. We need jobs. We need somebody that knows what he's doing on trade, and nobody can do what I can do. I will make our bad trade deals so good, so fast. We're going to renegotiate those deals. But they talk about that. They talk about the wall. We need the wall. Drugs are pouring into our country. You know, we have incredible people on that border, the Border Patrol. They've endorsed me, by the way. 16,500 people just endorsed me. They've never endorsed a presidential candidate before. First time. And they just endorsed me. We've got to stop what's happening at the border. And they talk about it like it's some kind of a joke. The yeah, Boston I mean, they don't Globe believe that you're going to be able... Um, the, the media in general does not believe you're going to be able to deliver on your promise to have Mexico pay for the wall. They don't believe that. It's and so then they easy. believe that Bill, if, they, so if a easy. trade war starts, if you stop remunerations going back and all of that, that because Mexico's our third largest trade partner, it's going to be chaos economic. That, that's all speculation. But what isn't hey, Bill, speculation... Bill, what, one thing I'd like to respond to that, sure, though. Sure. If a trade war starts, a trade war is only going to start unless they start treating us properly. They are treating us like a bunch of dummies in the United States. They're taking our jobs, they're taking our money, they're devaluing their currencies. You look at what China is doing with the currency in Japan. They're devaluing their currencies and they're, they're just killing us. Okay, now, but they don't, I don't believe think we're going to have a trade war, but somebody's got to talk to them. Look, people, I think I can absolutely your supporters solve the believe problem. you can. The media believes you can't. Now, I also had a conversation oh, last week. I think some week. of the media believes I can. I think some of the be media believes I can. And I can Who? tell you, I absolutely can. <laughs> look You're what they're hammered. doing. You look at these countries. Bill, you look at what these countries are doing to us, the way no, they treat us. I know us. that. I know that. They I'm don't talking about the media They don't anything now. that's in these agreements, which are terrible agreements All to right. start off with. I mean, they're terrible agreements. So, look, your supporters say you believe you can do it. Your detractors say you can. I, was, I, was I will do it. I'll do it I for the country. I was talking to Leslie You Stahl. know what it's called, Bill? Make America great again right, because our country is going to hell and, and it's called make America you get those great hats, again. You got to get those hats made in America by the way. Now I was talking to Leslie Stahl. They are made in America. Bill, wait, wait, wait. They are made in California. <laughs> okay. they are, now I know this, they're copied all over the place, but they are made in America. Believe me, the first thing I said when I did the hats, I said, you better make, make sure they're in made in America. They're That's made by, right. excuse me, Bill, they're made by a company in California, 100%. Now I know they're copied all over the place and I can't help that. But my hats are made in America. Good. Now, I've got to ask you this question. It's a tough question, but it's true. I was at the CBS Morning News uh, a few weeks ago, and they collectively, that program, they're appalled that you're leading in the Republican precincts. They, they think you're a vulgarian, that you're not, uh, you don't have the class to run this country. You know that, the perception in, in a lot of network places. Um, how, does that bother you? Well, I don't know that's the perception. I went to the Wharton School of Finance. I was a very smart person and student and all of that, and hopefully am. And frankly, uh, CBS morning show with Charlie Rose and all of them, they begged me to go on the show all the sure, time. Sure, because in fact, you deliver I was on the high show ratings. like a month ago. You deliver they begged high me to go on the show. Yeah. So I don't think the Bulgarian is the right word. Uh, perhaps they don't like me. They don't like my policies. No, they, they don't, don't like they my think stance you're on trade. In your face. You know the the New York term no, in your well, face. That's what I, they think. You know, I'll tell you what. They certainly want me on their show because they beg. Okay, yeah, they beg that I go on their show. you bring high ratings. You. Everybody knows you bring well, high ratings. Whatever That's it is. why. I, I bring a lot of voters also. I mean, I bring a lot of people that want to see our country turn around. Right. Just when so you I mention see what you NAFTA have to say. as an example. But do you, I, you one look more at question. NAFTA, you look at what happened Let to me our get country. One more or you look at NATO, the way we're spending. Bill, you look at NATO, the way we're spending so right. much money, and we're benefiting all these other countries. We're like, Bill, we need a change. We need a change fast. So we're not going to sure. have a country left. Believe I got me. one more question I have to ask you. Don't you understand, or do you? Maybe I'm wrong because I don't hang with these people. But the precincts, the, the elite precincts in the media, you know, and, and they just don't think that you have the style 
to run the country. Don't you feel that when you deal with them? Don't you feel that condescension? No, I don't you feel don't? that. I feel that they disagree with my policies because they want to have open borders. They want to. They don't mind that people are taking advantage right, so of the country. So it's a liberal conservative thing. They don't mind thing. that free trade is stupid trade. Okay. No, I think they like my style. I think they. I wish they. I think they really wish they had my style. <laughs> if you want to know the truth, that's well, why most of those people. <laughs> excuse me. That's why most of those people are dying on television. So I really think that. But. They don't like open borders, and they don't like good trade deals because they think it's a bad thing, which is, you know, I, just, right. I look at it differently. I look at America first. You America might be first. right about Make that. Make America great again. I'm just, I just have to ask the questions. And we always appreciate you coming on. I hope you'll, uh, you know, check in with us as much as you can. You're very provocative. There's no doubt about it. Thank you.